Hi, welcome to another Excel tutorial. Today, we are going to learn about the pie chart. In order to create a pie chart, arrange and select your data, and go to the Insert tab. In the Chart section, click the Pie Shape drop-down option. Here, there are three different types of pie charts. 2D, 3D, and Donut Shape. Let's start with the 2D chart by clicking on the 2D pie chart option. Here, we have a basic 2D pie chart. If you want to change its size, you can do so by simply stretching it from the edges, and can adjust its position by clicking on it, and dragging it. Now we can start editing this. There are some options already given. In the Design tab, click on Add Chart Element. Under Chart Title, there are three options for the title. You can remove the title using the first option. The second option places the title above the chart, while the last option overlays the title on the central pie chart. The data label is the second item in the list to edit. Here, data labels represent the number of sales, and there are a few options for where you can choose to display these values on the pie chart, such as at the center, inside end, outside end, best fit and data call out. The legend is the third option for editing. The legend displays categories beneath the pie chart. You can change the legend's position, choosing from options like right, top, left, or at the bottom of the pie chart. Another option located next to add chart element is quick layout. Here, you can modify the overall layout of the pie chart. For example, in the first layout, the chart will be without a legend. In the second layout, the legend will be positioned at the top. And in the third option, there will be no data labels, and so forth. Other options are also changing with each selection. You can select any option according to your needs. After quick layout, the next option is to edit the color combination of your pie chart. There are predefined color combinations available. In the first block named Colorful, you'll find various color combinations suggested for each pie part, while in the second block named Monochromatic, there are combinations of variations of the same color. The next quick design editing option is important. This option will alter the style, color, and design of whatever you have selected in the last three editing options with slight variations. Additionally, you'll find a selection of intriguing designs available here. Most of our requirements can be met using these options. However, if we want to make detailed edits to our chart, we can do so by double-clicking anywhere within the chart area. This action will open a side box. At the top of this box, there is a drop-down list with various editing options. The first one is Chart Area, which refers to the main square or rectangular box containing our pie chart. Here, we can change the color of this box by clicking on the Fill option. If we choose Solid Fill, this box will be filled with a solid color. The automatic option will assign the first chosen style. Additionally, there is a Gradient Color option, we can change the gradient color combination from here. While the gradient star can be changed using gradient stops. Another option is the picture or texture fill option. You can change the background picture or texture from this section, allowing you to select any suitable background picture. The next option is pattern fill. Within this option, there are numerous patterns available that can be utilized as the background for our chart. Following that, the next element you can edit is the border of this box. You can adjust the thickness of the border by increasing the width value. Subsequently, you can change the color of this borderline. Additionally, you have the option to modify the style of the borderline by changing the compound type. Similarly, just like the fill section option, there is a gradient line option available for editing, and we can adjust the color of the gradient from here. We can change the corner style to rounded corners by using checkbox option. The next editing option is effects. Go to this section, where you can modify the shadow, glow, edges, and 3D format of this box. For instance, in the 3D format, increasing the width value will result in a noticeable change in 3D style. The next editing option is size and properties. In the size option, you can increase the width and height of the pie chart box, or as previously discussed, simply stretch the edges. Here, you have the option to lock the size changing aspect ratio, which means that if you increase the height, the width will increase in proportion. Next is the text options tab. In this tab, the first option is text fill, which alters the style of all the text within the chart. The available options are similar to those for solid fill, gradient fill, and picture or texture fill, and you can use them to customize the text style in the same manner. After text editing, the next option is the title option, 
which exclusively allows you to edit the title. In this section, the editing options are the same as before, such as solid fill and gradient fill. However, there is a new addition, text outline. In this option, you can add and customize the style of the outline around the chart title. Following that is the effects editing option. The editing options in each section are almost identical, with minor variations. For instance, in the effects section, you can apply shadow, glow, and 3D format, etc. Next is the legend option. The editing options are the same. First, you can change the background of the legend using options like solid fill, gradient, or a picture. Below that, there's the same border editing option. The last option in this section is the legend position option, which allows you to change the position of the legend, such as top right or bottom, and then you can choose the legend overlapping option. Similarly, in the text editing section, you can adjust the style of the text. For example, you can use solid fill, change the color of the text, and apply text outline, as we discussed earlier. Next, we can edit the plot area, which is essentially the inner square box where the pie chart is located. Here, you can make changes to the fill and border of this section. However, in most cases, there's no need to edit this section. Moving on to the main pie chart, you can select this section by simply clicking on it. If you wish to select and edit a specific segment of the pie chart, you can do so by clicking on that particular pie slice in your chart. In the same manner as we've previously done, we can add a shadow to our chart from here. You can observe the shadow for this part. Additionally, we have the option to incorporate a 3D effect from the 3D format section by selecting one of the available options. Furthermore, we can introduce a glow effect from the glow section, using a color that complements the design. Moving on, we have the series options, which is a very useful section. Here, we can adjust the angle of the chart slices, and by using the point explosion feature, we can create a gap between the slices. However, if we wish to sort the chart in either a higher to lower or lower to higher order, we must rearrange the data in the table. To do this, select the data, navigate to the data tab, and sort it from largest to smallest and click on sort to expand the selection, or from smallest to largest by doing the same step. Furthermore, you can adjust the angle of the slices from this tab. Now, the last option to edit is data labels. For almost every option, the editing tools are the same with slight variations. For instance, the first option here is fill, where you can choose to fill the text box with a solid color, gradient, or pattern fill, etc. Next, we have border editing. In this section, you can make adjustments to the borders of the data labels. In the effects section, you have the option to include a shadow effect. Additionally, in the size and properties section, you can modify the size and other properties. The final option is the label option. Here, you can add different information into the labels, such as the values, which represents the exact numerical values from the table, or you can choose to display percentages. You also have the option to customize the separator between the data labels and data values, using options like a comma, semicolon, new line, or space. We can also adjust label positions, such as inside end, outside end, or best fit. The last option in this section allows us to edit the number format, means how we want to display our data, whether it's as currency, date, time or any other given option. In the case of currency, we can modify the currency symbol by selecting the desired currency, or we can also display the data in percentage form. Moving on to the text options section, here we can modify the text of the data labels. As we mentioned earlier, the editing tools for all the components are quite similar. For instance, in the text fill option, we can change the text color using gradient. Additionally, we have the ability to change the position of the text by selecting and dragging the text box while holding down the mouse key, and we can also adjust the text color. In the section below, we can edit the outline of the label text. In the text box section, you can change the text alignment, text direction, or the shape by checking or unchecking the box to wrap text within the shape. In the next video, we will discuss bar of pi, pi of pi, 3D pi, and donut charts. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or would like to suggest topics for future videos, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.